Now coming to your third question about Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh or Shiva. Same, same. Two names, Mahesh and Shiva, same. But more popular known as Shiva. Right? The creator, the destroyer, the sustainer. Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva. And you ask me that does God have these three forms? No, God doesn't have three forms. Does he have any people? Yes, he has many angels. See, alone God is sufficient. He does not require anyone's help. But if he wants, he can do it through an angel, if he wants. If he doesn't want, no problem. He just wills, and it is. Kun, fire kun. Be, and it is. As far as the Hindus, what they believe, they believe in somewhat similar trinity what the Christians believe, even the Hindus believe. That Almighty God, one God is God to create, Brahma. One God is God to destroy, Shiva. One God is God to sustain, Vishnu. So separate God for creation, separate God for sustaining, separate God for destroying. The Quran says, in Surah Ambiya, chapter 21, verse number 22, if there were gods more than one God, surely they would have fought among themselves. And Quran says, in Surah Mu'minun, chapter number 23, verse number 91, that if there were many gods, they would have piled upon one another. And that's what you find in Hindu mythology. One god fighting with the other god, one god defeating the other god, third god helping the second god. How can gods fight? So best is only one god. Superpower is only one. And that is what the Vedic says. If you ask a common Hindu, how many gods does he believe in? Some will say three, some will say hundred, some will say thousand, some will say thirty-three crores, three hundred and thirty million. But if you ask a learned Hindu, that how many gods should a Hindu believe in, he will tell you Hindus should believe only in one god. But the common Hindu, he believes in a philosophy known as pantheism. What he says, that everything is God. The tree is God, the sun is God, the moon is God, the human being is God, and the snake is God. What we Muslims say, everything is God's. G-O-D with an apostrophe S. Everything belongs to God. The tree belongs to God, the sun belongs to God, the moon belongs to God, the human being belongs to God, as well as the snake belongs to God. So the major difference between the Hindus and the Muslims is the Hindus say everything is God, we Muslims say everything is God's. G-O-D with an apostrophe S. The major difference is apostrophe S. If we can solve this difference of apostrophe S, the Hindus and the Muslims, We'll be united. How do we do it? Allah says in the Quran in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 64, Come to common terms as between us and you. Which is the first term? Allah, na'buda illallah. That we worship none but Allah. Wala nushika bihi shayyam. That we associate no partners with him. Wala yattakhiza baad, dunabad, dan arbab and mindunillah. That we erect not among ourselves lords and pitas other than Allah. Fain tawallah. If then they turn back. Faqul ishadu. Be a Muslim. Say we bear witness that we are Muslims bowing over to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The best way to analyze any religion is not to try and understand what the followers are doing, but you have to analyze the scriptures. Now, if we analyze Hindu scriptures, if we read the Upanishads, which Ved Upanishad the highest, it's mentioned in Dogya Upanishad, chapter number six, section number two, verse number one. Ikkam evidityam. God is only one without a second. It's a Sanskrit quotation. Ikkam evidityam. God is only one without a second. It's mentioned in Shweta Sitar Upanishad, chapter number six, verse number nine. Nachaste kasij, janita na chadipa. Of him, there is no Lord. He has got no parents. Almighty God has got no superior. He has got no mother. He has got no father. It's mentioned in the Shweta Sitar Upanishad, chapter number four, verse number 19. Nachaste pratima asti. Of that God, there is no pratima. Pratima means image. Pratima means photograph. Idol, sculpture, painting. Almighty God has got no photograph, has got no sculptures, has got no statue, has got no painting. He has got no images. And amongst the Hindu scriptures, the most sacred are the Ved. It's mentioned in Yajur Ved, chapter number 32, verse number 3. Natasya Pratimasti. Of that Almighty God, there is no Pratima, there is no images, there is no photograph, there is no sculpture, there is no statue. It's mentioned in Yajur Ved, chapter number 40, verse number 8. Almighty God is pure. It's mentioned in Yajurva chapter number 40, verse number 9. Andhatma Pavishanti, ya Asambhuti Mupaste. They are entering darkness, those who worship the Asambhuti. Asambhuti are the natural things like fire, water, air, etc. And the verse continues, they are entering more in darkness 
those who worship the sambhuti. Sambhuti are the created things like table, chair, idol, etc. Who says that? Yajurved, chapter 40, verse number 9. And the Brahma Sutra of Hinduism is Ekam Brahm Devtyanaste. Nena Naste Kinchan. Bhagwan Eki hai, Dusra Nahi hai. Nahi hai, Nahi hai, Zara bhi Nahi hai. There is only one God, not a second one. Not at all, not at all, not in the least bit. Uh, we'd like our audience to give this young boy a good hand because I think when we are uh, young, we are more innocent, we are more righteous, we are more truthful. He's an example of it, putting a very genuine question. He had a genuine question. He believed in a genuine approach. Alhamdulillah. Mm -hmm.